Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Avonum 6. Last episode, we went into Fort Saffron, explored a bit, and we're told that the Blessed of Fame is somewhere in this facility, which has been mostly destroyed. And all that's really left now is, well, the bodies of a couple of Dark Side loyalists who are trying to recover it, various bugs that stormed them from behind, providing a distraction, and even killed one of them, and rubble and ruins. Now we gotta look at the second level here, and oh look, slimes! Fantastic. Well, let's see what we can do with it. Alright, that's cleared out. A lever we can't get to. Now we can. That didn't open this lever. Hmm, wonder what it opened. Alright, well that's no good. There's no way up over there, so... Huh, we can't actually go through that gate. Oh, that's a ladder though. This leads to another lever. Which doesn't open anything. Can't get over there. It's probably this one here. Yeah, it is. Can't get through there. So that leads this stairway. That didn't look good. Let's cast a couple spells. You know, safety. The hallway around you grows very cold. There is a motion out of the corner of your eye. Several figures have come into view surrounding the pit. They are faint in substantial shadows, but they are becoming more solid every moment. You hear a long, angry moan from the ruined hall to the west. There is another ghost in there. Something about its presence reaches deep within your mind, filling you with terror. The fear makes you want to run back toward the forming specters. The specters by the pit seem strangely immobile. They don't seem to sense your presence. As long as you keep a safe distance from them, they, you might be able to keep them from detecting you. The ghost swoop, swoops toward you. You involuntarily take a step back. It reaches out its arms, aiming to steal your warmth. Well, let's, uh, kill it. Quickly. Oh, good. Okay, we'll stay away from those. Drain of spell energy? That's bad. I mean, not for our warriors, who are actually killing it very quickly. But for everyone else, that's very bad. Oddly, you seem to be out of range. And we're good. Spectral boots. Very good, actually. Take them. Swamp boots? Probably sell. Yeah... Yeah, we'll sell them. There are several runes etched on the floor of this hallway. Delicate traceries are etched in the stone, waiting to be charged with magical power. If they had only been completed, the foes you have met would have been kept out. Alas, before that could be done, this woman was ambushed and killed. She lies next to a partial ward. She had been intently et etching it when the horror you encountered pounced upon her. In moments, it froze her solid. There is a small, sharp blade held loosely in her hand, protruding from the ice. With care, you work it loose. It's a beautiful tool, razor-sharp and very old. You wrap it up and place it in your pack. Well, we found the Blessed of Thame. Hey, regain energy. Alright, let's use this. See what's in here. This book has been back here for a very long time. The title reads, Chance for a New Empire. You flip through it, reading the militant and rather anti-Avernum songs within. One of the songs in the back is far older. It is a chant that, properly sung, can refresh the strength of all nearby allies. You study it closely. Mass healing increased. I'll take that. Oh hey, and all those spirits are gone. Alright, mission accomplished. Let's go turn in our stuff, and probably should tell that guy about who we found. The commander here, I mean. He will want to know. 
Oh, no, in here. I was attacked upstairs by someone who called himself Loyalist Sepko. Mello looks concerned. Loyalist, you say? That is odd. I will inform the castle of this. They will want to know. Thank you for the information. All right. Uh, some things you might want to buy. There we go. All right. Now, back to the castle we go. Do me, do me, do. Come on already. And the castle. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Try to edit it out. All right, let's see here. First of all, you. I found a diseased mushroom in the Great Cave. Sage Asta fetches a pair of tongs, takes the sample, inspects it, and seals it in a ceramic jar. Similar to what I have already, not entirely useless. I will pay you as promised. She gives you a small pouch of coins and a flask containing a thick green goo. I don't need any more of this variety, but please watch for samples in the other locations I mentioned. That would be helpful. The more we know about the blight, the better we can combat it. Have the samples I brought helped you? Not yet, but I have hope. In these darker times, that and the company of others are all that sustains me. Well, at least I brought it to you. Glad I could help. You? I have your blessed Athane, Lark. She eagerly takes it, confirms that it is undamaged, and deposits it in a leather satchel. Excellent. I will get it to the surface as quickly as possible, before some other careless person takes it away and then dies. She walks to the west wall and unlocks a box. Help yourself to what is in there. A worthwhile reward for a brave advent Soldier. I meant soldier. I recognize greatness in you, the sort of enthusiasm and skill that could lead you to be a great gatherer of things. If you are interested in pursuing your new calling, let me know. Sure, I'll help you gather more stuff. I am so very happy to hear it. I, I have been needing a part-time gatherer person very badly, and there is something else I seek. I am referring to the famed Onyx Scepter, a finely crafted artifact with the ability to stabilize magical portals. Its possession would be of obvious value. Return it to me, and an even more glorious reward than the last awaits you. It stabilizes portals. Its mere presence has a calming effect on magic, evening out surges, and calming in en enraged flows. In most cases, unhelpful, for the creation of portals is invaluable. And where is the scepter? After the blight arrived, it was taken to the ruins of Fort Avernum in the hope that the old portal there could be reopened. It would have been very handy for bringing supplies from the surface. Then the Slavzerakai attacked, and the trail was lost. The, ruin of, the ruins of Fort Avernum are east of Silvar. Fort Avernum, eh? All right. Assassin's shield. That's useful. Wand of death. Powerful. And knowledge brew. This assassin's shield give to you. Uh. You know what? Oh, damn it. I can't. You're carrying too much. You need strength. No, you know what? Leave it. You're at your limit. I think it's fine. I'm carrying so much stuff here. Huh. Yeah, we're fine. For now. We'll sell the Blessed Shield. Okay. Well. That done and over with. Do we have any others? Mm -hmm. Mainly exploration of the like. The Leonhardt. Yeah, let's head over to Darman and see if we can complete that quest. Just southwest of Darman. Should be easy. I hope. Darman. <laughs> There we are. This will be interesting. All right. All right. Let's see if we can find this farm. You are at the outer edge of a grim fen. Pools of stagnant water have gathered in the low areas here, providing an excellent place for all sorts of algae and fungus to grow. 
The smell of decay is heavy in the air. Sections of ruined, crumbling wall poke out of the muck in places. There was a large settlement here. It was abandoned long ago. There are shambling figures moving around slowly in the mist. Beyond them, to the southwest, you think you can see flickering lights. Huh. Is this really where he is? Oh. More undead. Well, at least these guys die easy. This is where the farm is? Can't be. These orchards are southwest of Darwin. Oh, this must be it. Yes. There is a man living out here, alone, deep in this grim fen. He wears the robes of a mage, and a long dagger hangs from his belt, so he might be able to defend himself. Still, it's a lonely, dangerous life. The bottoms of his robes have been permanently stained green by the muck he constantly walks through. When you enter, he is tending to the plants and pots of algae that fill his workshop. He is pleased to see you. Ah, oh, good. A warrior of Averna. From Tom and I hope? My little herb farm is besieged of late, and I still need the help I requested. What is your business here? He looks at the vats. This is my small, humble herb farm. I grow the things alchemists need to do their work. To make potions that sustain the soldiers and agents of Avernum, for example. And before you ask, no, I have no potions. Only herbs, all but the most precious. The alchemy I leave to others. Growing those precious plants is a skill and a challenge all its own. Isn't it dangerous out here? Yes, but it is dangerous everywhere. I know enough magic to look after myself. Of course, there are the shambling zombie hordes. Those are too much for me to handle myself. I keep asking her Dorman for help dealing with them, but no luck yet. Do you ever get lonely? Desperately so, but I use the past trials of the Archmage Solberg as an inspiration to me in these dark times. It was Solberg himself who asked me to come out here, you know, to grow what needed to be grown. When a true hero of Avernum asked for your help, who would be black-hearted enough to refuse? I suppose. What sort of herbs do you grow? To alchemists, there are the three classes of herbs with magical properties. Healing, that soothe the body. Spiritual, that's the focus of mind. And energetic, that fill the imbibe with great energy. For each sphere, I can grow a plant that provides the needed energy. You can't grow the most precious herbs. It is not possible, sadly, to domesticate gray mold or mandrake root. You simply must find those where you can. Gray mold is the most powerful of the healing herbs. Its potency is unmatched. And mandrake root contains pure concentrate and magical power. The true steel comes in extracting the energy while leaving behind the deadly poison. You speak with Lee and Hart, trying to hide how unpleasant you find the constant sour spell in the air. Of course, he doesn't seem to notice it. What else do you wish to talk about, soldier? You get so lo it's easy to get lonely out here. Do you sell any of the herbs you grow? He does, when we don't need them. Can you teach me any magic? Alas, no. I have mastered a few spells I can use to defend myself, but if I tried to teach them to you, I would probably leave a step out. And then you would incinerate yourself, and it would be my fault. You need help. Tell me more. He shakes his head. Oh, it's a mystery. My peaceful swamp has been invaded by the undead. Not brigands or goblins, but reanimated dead people. Skeletons or zombies, depending on how much remained of the former person. They are mindless creatures, attracted to sounds. I can avoid them with care, but it makes them extremely difficult to do my work. That is why I asked Darwin for help. If you could assist me, I could call the creatures to us and destroy them. Where do they come from? I don't know. Perhaps someone is creating them. Perhaps there is some previously unknown dark energy at work here. How will you call them? They are drawn to sounds. I think I have developed a way to summon the creatures. We will see. And what do you need from me? It's simple. Stay with me. Protect me. Destroy the invaders as they come. Sure, I'll help you. I am pleased. Then prepare yourself. I suggest staying in here with me. He points at the pools in the corner. Those are filled with restorative liquid. Use them if the onslaught becomes too much, but not before. Tell me when you are ready. Well, I want to do some more exploration first. Those are the restorative things, then. Oh. Some coins, some herbs, plus some gauntlets, coins, mandrake root. It's the first piece of mandrake root we've found. Alright. 
Before we help, I want to explore around out here a bit more. Maybe I can kill some more of these zombies before they become a problem. You know, weaken the horde. That does not look very pleasant over there. Yeah, so let's take a look in here first. Undead. Ghouls. Well, not too bad. Thought it would be worse. There we go. Not as bad as I thought. Fine robe, steel dagger, and some herbs. Huh. All right then. All right, let's cast a couple spells. Mm, yeah, I think that works. I'm ready to help against the undead. And I will try my technique for drawing them. Prepare yourself. I don't know how many there will be. He begins to walk toward the door. Leonhard steps out of his workshop and displays his technique for calling the undead. He starts shouting at the top of his lungs. Come here! Come here! Here, undead! Come here! Not the most subtle or magically accomplished method of summoning, but considering how quickly he turns to run back inside, he seems to be having the desired effect. You hear a bone-chilling sound coming from the swamp. It is a long, low moan emerging from many decaying throats that echoes easily across the mire. Something is coming. And here they come! Yeah, let him come in. You can see something moving out in the swamp. Other forms are rising from the mire far more quietly than the zombies did. Come on. Skeletons. Skeletons are a little tougher, it looks like. You hear more moaning. More undead creatures have emerged from the pools where they were hiding. The truth is becoming clear. Someone or something has been creating and concealing lots of undead out here. It is fortunate for the Great Cave that you have discovered this horde before it could emerge and do real damage. Yeah, at least we're killing him. Here come more. Another blessing. A shout echoes across this, the fen to you. A human voice, furious and aggrieved. Who has done this? Who has called my pets? Who has destroyed them? Oh, my beautiful creatures, you will be avenged! Great. So, it's a necromancer. Fantastic. Oh, hello. So that's what we're dealing with here. Come on. Oh dear, that looks big. Aghast. Can't see him, but... Oh yeah, that's that's powerful. Ow. Another ghast. There we go. Ah, there he is. 
Necromancer Galana. Alright, you gotta die. Alright, a weakening blow, and a big blow. You strike down the Necromancer. The madman falls to the floor and expires. No more will he rob graves and turn the results into mindless, bloodthirsty monsters. Why would anyone do that in the first place? Anyway, you see that something is hanging from a thin chain around his neck. You look closer and find an iron key. You take it. The necromancer must have lived somewhere. This must open the way to his lair. I think we may have already gone in there. But hey, swamp boots and blade shield train. Hmm. Take it, I think. Uh... You need the bonus armor, I think. Any more problems with the undead? I suspect now that the necromancer is dead, my difficulties have ended, for now. Please, take this as a small gesture of gratitude on my part. He gives you several pouches of dried herbs. Yay, thank you. Very handy. And I believe, most likely, the necromancer lived to the east here. Probably in there. I think we already checked through there. Yeah, we did. Alright, so all that's left now is to report in on what we did. So let's do just that. You report your victory over pests at Leonhardt's farmhouse. Sergeant Estragon nods. Good! Now when we get and grow mushrooms again, nobody will eat the farmers. Here, a reward. He pulls the shield off a shelf and tosses it to you. Blessed shield! Nice, but we'll sell it. There shouldn't be any more here. There are not. All right. Level ups happened. Yeah. Improve your pole weapons. And you, more strength. There we go. That makes me happy. And I wonder, can you now? Nope, still no mighty blow. Damn it, how strong do you need to be? Oh, well. That said, all we have is to sell these things, and then I think we're going to head east. No, no, I think we'll just take a peek to the west over in, uh... Just take a peek at the area just west of, uh... Of Fort Emerald, and, you know, at least to find the claim... And then we'll go east and maybe take a peek at the areas around uh, Almaria. That'll be in the next episode. No. No, we'll not. We'll leave it be. Next episode, we'll head to Almaria. Till then, I am Chessic44. That is Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play. And I shall see you all next time.